first thing I want to do is define all of the HTML scaffolding that's going to end up holding all these different elements together. For example, my nav menu, my uh, slideshow over here, and all these different sections. So uh, here's what I will do. I'm going to provide everybody with the HTML5 boilerplate.zip. Uh, don't be confused with this other folder. This is the completed version of the project that I use for reference. Um, in there we have a bunch of files but the one that we're going to be editing obviously is index.html and here we have all the various uh, code that comes standard with boilerplate. You'll notice uh, that they leave the JavaScript down at the bottom and the CSS up at the top. That's because they want the majority of JavaScript to load after all the elements on the page have been rendered. Otherwise, if you have JavaScript that affects a certain element of HTML at the top of the document and that executes before the elements rendered rendered on the page by the browser then that effect actually won't take hold so if you think about just like CSS is cascading in the sense that it reads code from the top down you want to make sure to put all your JavaScript down at the bottom well not all the majority of your JavaScript down at the bottom and then your CSS at the top uh, modernizer is an exception because modernizer doesn't actually work with any uh, elements DOM elements what it does is detect features on the browser. So that's why uh, it's not a mistake that this JavaScript is listed at the top and not at the bottom with everything else because that's specifically its function. Um, so anyhow, let's just get into the HTML scaffolding that we need to get this project going. When you look in the middle of all this code, you'll see that we have right here uh, the part that says uh, add your site or application code. So let me delete that and let's start with the big major elements. Now, um, here are some, some HTML5 elements that we'll be using. Uh, header. Now, the header is going to be where we have, uh, well, like you guessed it, our header, which is going to be this navigation bar, and all of these elements in here. Um, these elements are an unordered list. So what I could do right in the header is create a nav element. And the nav element is going to hold an unordered list that has all of this stuff here um, and we're gonna pop these as list items and let me quickly put these in here bam 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 and then terminate them okay uh, easy peasy now that is it for the header at this point. Uh, I'm going to add, the next thing I'm going to add is main. Main is, you know, traditionally we, you, you always end up wrapping stuff up in larger containers to organize things. And in the past it's been div containers. Now HTML5 provides us with this main element. And main is an element that anticipates unique content for that page like that content won't be listed on any other page in the site now for what we're creating is known as a single page app if you will an SPA uh, but if we had a site with multiple pages this semantic separation makes sense because our header with a navigation uh, may, be, may be persistent or will likely be persistent on every page or a number of pages on the site whereas the actual meat and potatoes of the page uh, we have here all these different movies is going to be on this page we're going to keep that in our main section and that's essentially the goal for that we have a couple of things in our uh, in our we have a couple of sections rather in our main part this very top guy over here is our if we go back to the conceptual sketch is our featured slideshow and then we have another section right down below it featured slideshow I'd say is sort of um, if you were Netflix the shows you're trying to promote your what orange is the new black or you know game of thrones uh, 
house of cards, that kind of thing. The, from a business standpoint, you know, the business people are saying, hey, we really need our main stuff listed up at the very top. So, okay, that is a section. Now, a section is yet another HTML5 element that groups together common elements together. And for our purposes over here, we could do section and let's go ID because it's going to be un it's going to be unique on the page. We'll call it featured featured content. Let's just say that, uh, and that's going to be our big boy feature section. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, we have a number of other sections. Then we have new release, comedy, drama, sci-fi, and foreign. And so that's one, two, three, four, five. And obviously, um, we could just change this. Uh, make sure when you're doing this, and just in general, that you keep everything lowercase, or at least the beginning ones. There's something called camel case where um, featured content instead of separating it with a dash you could do a capital C like that this is called camel case um, stylistically actually I used to use camel case a lot but I've since moved away from it just so visually it's easier to see at least for me after main uh, another element that uh, could be persistent amongst multiple pages is a footer. So we could add the footer there. We don't really have any content to put in there just quite yet. Um, the final thing I would do since I'm here anyway is these different sections of the page, let's see right here, um, they when you click on them take you right to the these links take you right to the various sections and since they're IDs we can just go ahead and give these guys an anchor tag now href and then we put hash and that um, well that's perfectly incorrect over there um, oops and I didn't put a perfect um, this guy is gonna be listed here for comedy um, and but so what we could do from here on end is just pop in all the appropriate values and just get through this so we make sure that all links up properly and since I already put the value in once before I like to copy and paste so I don't mess something up because the one thing I always seem to do is mess something up and once I'm done here, before I move on with too much more coding, I am going to give this bad boy a test run. Not much to see, but it is, at least I could tell from the hash at the end or the URL that it's working well.